This is some pictures of how you can create the twos and eights times tables. This is how the right brain sees math. And this is a number wheel, which is a number line rolled into a circle. We'll do the eights in a minute, but most kids know the twos, so it's a good place to show how the patterns work when we get to the eights. The number wheels shows the ones digits as two, four, six, eight, and back to zero, forming a five-sided pentagon. This two, four, six, eight, zero pattern of the ones digits just keeps repeating. Now, how do we get off the number wheel and make bigger numbers? Let's use a table. We're looking at the patterns of the ones digits and tens digits separately, and then putting them together to make the times table. Here is our repeating 24680 pattern of the ones digits in orange. Now, what is the pattern of the tens digits? The tens digits start with zero in front of the first two. They continue with zero, and when the ones digits reach zero on the number wheel, the tens digits go up to one. Going around again shows one, 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 and up to two, creating 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. The pattern is clear, and the next row is two, 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 and up to three, creating 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, which is 15 times two. Can you see how we could continue the twos pattern as long as we want? I hope that makes sense. So now let's look at what the eights do. Going around eight on the wheel gets to the same place as going back two. Can you see that? Now, when we go around eight more, we go back two more to the number six. But it's important to notice that we actually went around past zero to the six, which increases our tens. Think about that. Instead of two, four, six, eight, zero, the eights are eight, six, four, two, zero, creating the same pentagon backwards. Bringing in the table, we have our repeating eight, six, four, two, zero pattern of the ones digits. It's important to notice that when each number is less than the number before, it has gone past zero in the number wheel, and the tens digits will go up by one. The eights start with zero in the tens place, and then go up to one, up to two, up to three, and up to four, creating eight, 16, 24, 32, and 40, the first five eights. The next row repeats the four because going from zero to eight on the wheel does not go past zero. And then the tens digits go up to five, up to six, up to seven, and up to eight. Each row is five more eights, and we have created 48, 56, 64, 72, and 80. The next row repeats the eight, then goes up to nine, up to 10, up to 11, and up to 12. The tens pattern in each row is repeat the same, then up, 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 up. The next row of tens it repeats the 12, and then goes up to 13, up to 14, up to 15, and up to 16. We are at 160, which is 20 times eight. We are creating big numbers, but that's okay and fun because we're just filling in the patterns, like putting a puzzle together. Do you think we could continue the eights pattern? How far can you take the eights? Watch this video a couple times if you need to. See my other Mr. Numbers videos to learn more about number circles and about right brain mass rule of tens which show why the twos and the eights make the same pentagon. The patterns are fun. Now that you see the pattern, here is a quick way to memorize the eights. On a piece of paper, write out 86420, and again 86420. Then put in front 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
Repeat the four, five, six, seven, eight. And you just created the eights. Do this a couple times a day and pretty soon the eights will be old friends. Many kids learn predominantly in a right brain way where they see the bigger pictures and patterns and relationships of numbers. Kids love playing with patterns and puzzles and develop a positive attitude about numbers while learning the times tables. See all my Mr. Numbers videos and go to rightbrainmath.com to learn more about how the right brain sees math and to get fun free worksheets. You can also order the book and DVD there. Bye from Mr. Numbers. I hope you learned something fun.